guys and welcome back to the JobRx mini course for job seekers. So in this video, we're going to talk about filling out your profile and optimizing it for uh, getting noticed by employers and of course, increasing your chances for getting a remote job. So first, when you open your profile, first field you see is first and last name. We make sure to enter your first and last name uh, because we uh, do require all our job seekers to have full name displayed after that you have the what do you do field so uh, here you enter a very short summary of your job and skills so you can of course make it funky a little bit like i did here digital marketing wizard but i'm also a content writer and i do branding so uh Another example is, example is JavaScript, uh, the Java developer, experienced HR manager, a virtual assistant, anything like that. Just make sure you don't enter like your latest high school, latest school diploma, like uh, Bachelor of Informatics and Technology, because that's not actually going to be optimized because employers do not uh, browse our job seeker database uh, for those keywords, definitely. And next field would be job category. So uh, you have a drop down menu, you can select uh, the category you belong to. So for me at this moment with my description, I would say I would say sales and marketing. After that, you have profile description. Now profile description is definitely one of the most important things when it comes to your profile, simply because uh, you can uh, enter a lot of inf information there and represent yourself better uh, uh, to all employers out there. Uh, a uh, thing to bear in mind when writing a description, uh, don't make it too long, but don't make it too short. So just uh, just type in there a few things about yourself that are a little bit more personal maybe. Uh, say what skills do you possess, what education do you possess, what jobs you'd like to do in future. For example, I just wrote like, my name is Vladan, I'm here to offer some of my quality skills. I develop over the years, I'm digital marketing manager with three years of experience, some of the skills I possess, and I completed some courses here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and that's it. So just make it like, uh, short sweet direct open and honest because that's always the best way and uh, description needs to have at least minimum 200 characters we would recommend any, anywhere between five to seven eight hundred maybe so next field would be salary rate this field is optional and you can enter your hourly salary rate in us dollars uh, country and city, uh, make sure to enter the, the place where you're actually from. Birth date is also uh, something uh, that's optional. Current availability, so uh, here you can just select are you available for a full-time uh, job or are you just looking for a part-time thing uh, or at the moment if you are employed and just want to have your profile out there displayed, you can set not available. Uh, uh, last but not least is your profile uh, image. So. Make sure to have a, an actual photo of where your face is clearly seen because that creates a, mo a connection with the employer and it, your profile will, will co convert a lot better. It also, uh, a system will resize it to 100 times 100 automatically. So just make sure you have like decent professional uh, selfie. Uh, you can take it with, with your cell phone and just crop it to be like a square and you, you should be good. So when you fill all that, uh, you can hit the save button. And what the profile will do, uh, it, it will automatically save. And but that's not actually quite completed because you have another tab uh, here you want to fill and that is a skills tab. So in sk skills tab, uh, you will rate your skills where n uh, no stars means you have no experience, knowledge and five stars. You are an ex expert uh, in that field. So. If you're, for example, a developer uh, and you you definitely want to get into this tab programming and just select all the uh, skills that you possess from one to five star rating. So if you're good with JavaScript, you'll probably set it like this. You're good with Bootstrap, uh, but you are, I don't know, expert in jQuery. Uh, you get the point make sure to have at least five skills displayed on your profile uh, because that's uh, the mi minimum we request from our job seekers. 
So also there's a lot of different, uh, di different uh, skills you can select, uh, marketing, design, multimedia, sales, office, customer support, lots of lots of options for you to select. And of course, the more you enter, the better. So next thing would be ID verification. Uh, here you will uh, uh, be, uh, you can upload your government ID or driving license or uh, your passport. Uh, for the verification process. Uh, this is actually uh, the only real thing that shows employers that you are actually from the Eastern Europe and they have the option to uh, select that they want only uh, job seekers with uh, verified government ID to apply for their job post. So uh, it is of course optional. We, want, we, we don't request it uh, as a ma mandatory, but uh, we really suggest that you do this. Uh, we are totally GDPR compliant, which means that we do not hold any information whatsoever on, on your uh, data. And right after we, we verify your country of, of origin, we uh, destroy that information. Uh, next step would be CV and links. You can basically just upload your CV here to uh, so everyone on your profile can see it. Personal website, Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile. You, if you are a developer, uh, you can with a GitHub and Stack Overflow profile. If you are a designer, you can have your Behance profile. So all that is pretty much uh, under this tab, CV and links. And of course, the more you fill, the better. Uh, if you have some portfolio behind you that you want uh, to display in your profile, you can add it in the top portfolio. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will see you in the next video.